Our first guest tonight is an Emmy-nominated comedian who will be returning as guest host of The Daily Show next week on Comedy Central in her memoir, Leslie <laughs> Jones, is on sale now. Please welcome back to the show our good friend Leslie <laughs> Jones, everybody! Welcome back, my friend! Yeah! <laughs> you got it! You got it! Flaunt it! My, my stylist said, make sure that you show the leg. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we, I, I've been lucky enough to talk to you about this book a couple of times now. Yes. We did a wonderful uh, uh, book event uh, in New York City. You yes. came on a podcast with me and my brother. And so can I say, sweet. you He's so sweet. Oh, I love, I love you. Love me. I would say we did a, we did a, a you book event. Have a baby. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> did you see how he reacted? Like we had really did something. Like you pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the book event went well. I don't remember it going that well. <laughs> I would say we, it was a, a great symphony space on the Upper West Side. And yes. it, I feel like a lot of those people go to book events on the Upper West Side. And I think it was ne they've never heard answers about a book that, that you gave at that book event. I loved it so much. Yeah? You had no control over me. No, I, I, I almost <laughs> never do. <laughs> now, did your editors have control over you no, with the book? No, yeah. absolutely not. Absolutely not. They kept asking for it. It was like, are you fin No, I'm not finished. I'm, Did they I'm, fight you on the title, or was the title? Uh, well, they fought me on everything. Yeah. Look, OK, like, there's a deadline. There's a deadline. And I, yeah, blew the deadline. Yeah. <laughs> I reread the whole book and rewrote the whole book. And they was like, you can't do that. <laughs> it's my book. I can do whatever the f I want to. Now, <laughs> I want to know. Like, you did something, though, I have not heard anyone say they've done before. When you talk about, I, you can't be controlled. Even you couldn't control you. Because you, when you went in to do the audiobook, you admitted you wouldn't even read it the way you wrote it. OK. It went, it went just like this. It went just like this. Four word. When Leslie, no. First, <laughs> what had happened was, <laughs> And the editor was like, I made her take out all the what had happened was. No, yo, the director, the director was like, um, I don't know, maybe we, I was like, girl, this is how it's going, girl. <laughs> I'm not finna sit here and read this book and be like, uh, Leslie Jones, uh, she said that she, uh, <laughs> but since a cop had recent, no. I know the story and I'm finna give you the details. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the real tea. They didn't put that in there. They was trying to hide it. Let oh, me tell you. It's so funny. I mean, I think it's the rarest case where, you know, like sometimes when I'll be, li I'll like read a book on, on, on like, a, you know, my uh, Kindle mm -hmm. and then I'll switch over to Audible. And when you go back, it's like you were on this page. I feel like with your book, it'd be like, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know where you are. We That's don't know what, what to tell you. I was you. like, just ride with me. Tell me if I go too deep in it. There was some stories I would go so deep in it. She'd be like, um, Leslie, um, uh, we're we're only in chapter two, and um, <laughs> that that's we're over. It's over that that whole chapter. And I was like, no, nah, I got more to say. <laughs> so I thought it was only seven hours. I come to find out it's sixteen hours yeah. long. Yeah. It's the it's the war and peace of audio memoirs. <laughs> Now, this, I want to get uh, uh, a, a real talk here. You actually wrote this memoir, and you had to go back, and you had to remember things, and you maybe had to revisit a tougher times in your life. Was it, uh, was it cathartic to go back to those things? Was it difficult ever to go back to those past? Oh, of course, because now you look and, and I go, oh, my God, I made it through that? Oh, my God, how did I not die? Oh, my God, why would I say that? Oh, my God. It was a lot of stuff, and I was like, girl, you can't say that. Oh, you want to take that out. <laughs> And then there was a lot of things, because, you know, I smoke weed, so I don't remember a lot of stuff. And, yeah. and I, oh, my God, you know Dina, right? You know her last name is Moles. Uh-huh, yeah, Dina Moles, I yeah. call her Morales. Her, okay. like, her new name is Morales now. Okay, so, so wait, I, you I called her the wrong name in the book? Oh, uh, there's so, so many things. Yeah. So, my, 
my, my coach hit me and he was like, yeah, that's that's not exactly how it went. I was like, it's how I remembered it, yeah. though. That's, that's how I started saying it. I was like, well, this is the story I remember. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's really pretty accurate. You talk about some people... Look, you came across, uh, you know, you broke into SNL, like, later in your career than maybe other people, but you met a lot of very successful people over your path, and some of them gave you a lot of advice. Some yes. told you about the value of, of getting life experience mm -hmm. as well, outside of just getting on stage. What Say, were some of the things you did that were helpful? Yeah, I, I just went to a lot of jobs. I had a lot of jobs, a lot of jobs. <laughs> yeah, I got fired a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Did I ever quit? I quit, but yeah, no. Did you do a lot of like, you can't fire me, I quit? Cause no, that doesn't count. it was never, yeah. that, I was okay. never in that situation. It was always like, you can go. Like I was, <laughs> you, we're gonna let you go now. It was always like, oh, we can't keep you on. Uh, yeah. Go in a different direction or <laughs> just get out. Like, yeah. you know, I was just. <laughs> Did you, mo wait, looking back, do you think in most of those cases they were right to send you? Yes, yeah, okay. absolutely. Oh my God, one job I used to, and I thought I was gonna be a receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious, right? <laughs> I couldn't even answer the phone right. I think it was a construction company. I'd be like, Alpha Construction. And the girl was like, You gotta be more. I was like, Alpha Construction. And they would come to the, man, I would go to sleep. I would go to sleep at the desk. <laughs> I would did comedy the night before, and I was like, man, I'm finna take a nap. You, you are the receptionist. Yeah. You can't take a nap. No. So I won a contest, and I came in the next day, and I was bragging. I was like, I won this contest. I won $1,000 in this contest. And they was like, oh, great. And the girl called me in the office. She was like, you know, I'm so glad that the comedy is going well. <laughs> um, because we're gonna have to let you go. And That's probably like, when she heard you won a contest, she was like, today is ooh, the day. Today is the perfect day. <laughs> the window day. opened oh, a little bit. Oh, I found too. Yeah. I was like, oh, bitch, I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, uh, you should go back with all the money you have now. You should buy that desk and use it to take naps on now. They ain't open no more. They ain't open no more. Well, yeah. No. <laughs> Nobody there to answer the phones. Hey, this is very exciting. Next week, uh, uh, you were the first guest host uh, when The Daily Show started doing this, mm -hmm. and you get to go back and do a second week. Uh, you were fantastic. <laughs> fantastic the first time. Yes! Are you I... excited? And my other, just a quick follow-up, do you feel like you understand it a little bit more going into it now, having done a week? Oh, first of all, that, oh, it's so ran like a well-oiled machine. They know what they're it's doing like over a, there. It's, I, They make anybody look good, I'm gonna be honest with you. They, they make anybody look good. The, the writers over there are just, just like big brains. They're just, I, I, I and they just, like, some of the stuff that, it's just, it, I love it. I love it over there, and I love to be able to express, because I feel like, I'm just like the people's people. I understand what they understand. Like, yeah. like we. I don't know if you saw that. I thought the electoral college was where the politicians go to college. And, yeah. And and they learn college stuff. You know what I mean? They learn. The, you know, it's a whole class. And so I was like, how you don't know what the Constitution say? So, um, um, you know, I was explained that that's not right. Um, yeah. So it's like stuff like that. Like it's a lot of stuff that. People's people are not informed about me, and and I feel like you get to watch MSNBC and the CNN and get all of that. Now come here so I can make you laugh about it. Yeah. That's what. That's what I want to make people laugh. So you guys need to laugh, man. Y'all not laughing. Y'all just so sad. Everybody's so sad right now. And 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 it's just like we like we as comedians, me as a comedian. I feel like a big debt to this world right now. To, to bring some joy. Like, it's not all hopeless, I promise. And I know, listen, listen, I know that you're like, oh, bitch, you're rich and da, 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 and you can't tell me da, da, da. Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. We have to have hope. You have to believe in yourself and in the people that you, we have to do, we have to work together and we have to be uncomfortable. That is the problem. We don't, we're not doing anything because we're complacent and we're comfortable. We have to be uncomfortable to fix some of this. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. 
Get your ass up and vote. <laughs> Only a third of the country is voting. If 60 people are in the room, if 60 people are in the room and only 20 are ordering food, guess what you gonna eat? <laughs> what the 20 people order? <laughs> Pick your <laughs> menu up. <laughs> yeah. Such a lady. Well, well, I disagree with everything she just said. Uh, another really cool thing uh, before you go, everybody here in the audience tonight talking about bringing joy is going to get a copy of Leslie's book.